Welcome back to the 30 day beginner yoga challenge. We are nearly at the end, we're on day 27 today and we're going to do some preparation for headstand. So before I lose anyone we're not doing headstand in the challenge, we're just going to work towards building some strength in the shoulders and upper body so that if headstand is something you want to do when you go to class, when you do a workshop with a teacher in person I'd always recommend doing headstand with someone there in person to teach you. When you are ready for that, you've got the strength and you'll be uh, in a position to do the pose a little bit easier. If headstand is something you are not interested in at all, this is still gonna be a good class for you. It's still gonna help build strength in your arms, your shoulders, your core. It's gonna bring some awareness into your alignment. Um, it's still gonna be a great class for everyone. So we will start off in child's pose today. We're going to take the legs behind, toes come together, knees apart, sit back to your heels, take your hands back by your feet this time. We're going to do our version where we are tucked up into a little ball and our head is rested down. So rest your forehead either on your mat or on your hands or on a prop, a block, a pillow, something like that. Just make sure the head is rested. Arms drop down by the sides of the body. Shoulder blades sliding apart. Take some long deep breaths. Feel your body start to relax. Feel your shoulders start to ease up. Feel the shoulder blades slide apart. Feel the arms hang heavy. Feel the hips drop down. As you inhale, feel your abdomen push to your thighs and as you exhale, feel it release. So just getting really comfortable in your child's pose. So our child's pose is an inversion. An inversion is anything where your head is below your heart. So your whole body doesn't need to be upside down. It's just if your head is below your heart, then you're inverting your body in yoga. So uh, downward facing dog, uh, dolphin pose, standing forward fold, or child's pose are all beginner inversions. And then we build up to things like a headstand, a shoulder stand, a handstand, forearm stand. Um, but I'd always recommend doing that in person with a teacher. Really slowly roll yourself up, maybe open the eyes and then come up piece by piece, head coming up last. Take some nice deep breaths. Feel the difference now as your head comes above your heart. Roll your shoulders back. So we're going to go straight into our dolphin pose. We're going to take the elbows down under the shoulders. You measure that by holding on to opposite upper arm and then that's going to give you shoulder distance. Interlace your fingers, tuck the toes, lift the hips up, find your dolphin pose. So soft knees to start, shoulders locking in place, the shoulder blades slide down the back, shoulders roll back, and then start to lift the hips, push your hands down, push your elbows down, strong arms gripping the mat, start to slide your chest back towards your legs, and hold there. One deep breath. And then drop to knees. Take your hands under the shoulders and we'll come into a downward facing dog. Lift the hips up and back. Again, slide the shoulder blades down the back. Squeeze the arms, push the hands firmly down and then start to extend the legs. Lift the hips up. Nice deep breath. Look up to your hands. Walk your feet forwards, soft bend in your knees, fold over your legs, release your head. Big deep breath. And then slowly spine roll up to stand. Roll yourself up, roll the shoulders back. 
Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forwards. Exhale, release. Rest, rest your head. Soft knees. Inhale, sweep up and back. Exhale, hands to chest. We'll do the first half again. Up to downward facing dog. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause in down dog. Pedal out through your feet. Start to loosen up the backs of the legs. So one of the things we need for headstand or handstand or forearm stand is flexibility in the backs of the legs. Might not be so obvious, but in order to get in and out of the pose safely, we're gonna to have to walk our feet up towards the head. So as well as doing strengthening exercises, make sure you're stretching out the backs of the legs as well. So push the heels down, take a few deep breaths. As you exhale, lower to your knees. We're gonna lie on our side. So come onto your left side. So swing your legs to the side. We're gonna come down onto the forearm. So forearm coming across the mat, elbow under the shoulder, knees bent, feet in line with the hips. Top hand just comes onto the hip or you can have it down for a little bit extra support. We're gonna lift the hips up into the air. So inhale, lift the hips and hold for a breath. Engage the core, push your left elbow down to the floor, and then slowly release. Coming back up again, so inhale, lift, holding there, exhale, lower. Inhale, back up, hold for a breath, seating at your hips a little higher, and then release back down again. Spin around so you're going the other way and then you can see me from behind as well. So you're going to roll over. You've got your elbow underneath the shoulder, forearm down, hips in line with the shoulder, feet in line with the hips. You can bend the knees a little deeper or have them a bit further away depending on what feels most comfortable for you. Top hand onto the hip. Inhale, lift the hips up into the air and hold there. On exhale, release back down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift and hold. Remember to breathe. And then drop back down. And then we're going to come onto the abdomen. So we're going to come into our Sphinx pose. Forehead to the floor. Fingertips in line with the top of the head. Inhale, lift the head and chest up. Roll the shoulders back. Make sure your elbows are into the shoulders. And hold there. Push the chest forwards. Take a few deep breaths. Lift up a little higher. Push down through the elbows. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale. As you exhale, slowly release. Take your hands under the shoulders. Come up on two hands and knees. And then we're going to do a little bit of headstand preparation. So we're going to do our dolphin arms. Hold on to opposite, uh, opposite upper arms. Elbows come down into the shoulders. Interlace the fingers. And then you're going to open the palms up. So you're going to create a little support for your head. 
you're going to rest your head down in there, hands come onto the back of the head, and it's the very top of the head, that flat part on the top that's going to come down onto the mat. Maybe walk your knees in a little closer, and then just hold there. So there's no weight at all coming down through the head. Elbows pushing down. See if you can lift your chest a little higher. Take some deep breaths. Your neck and head should be totally comfortable. And then lift your head, sit yourself back into child's pose for a breath. And then roll yourself up. Roll the shoulders back, sit tall. So we're gonna do some work on pushing ourselves up out of the shoulders. So we're gonna do this from plank, but we're just gonna practice the movement here. Gonna take the arms out in front, flex your wrists as if they're on the floor. Take the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then start to round your back slightly and push your hands away. So draw the shoulders back and then push the shoulders forwards. Do that a couple of times. And then come down into your plank. So you can do it from knees or from toes. I do it from knees to start while I'm talking. So you're in your plank, nice and strong, strong core, strong shoulders, and then push your hands down to the floor and lift your upper back higher than your shoulders and then come back to that neutral position. So lift up and lower down. Lift up and lower down. Do a couple more of those. And then we'll come to child's pose. And then if you're like me and you were on your knees that first time, see if you can do a few from your toes this time. So you're in your plank, nice and strong, and then push the hands. Imagine you're pushing the floor away from you. Remember to keep your form in your plank. If you feel like your hips are dipping down, then drop the knees, just go back to there. Do one more. And then back to child's pose again. Take a deep breath. And then come back to our dolphin. Elbows down, measure the distance, hold on to opposite elbows, and then interlace the fingers. We're gonna do our dolphin exercises. So you're gonna tuck the toes, lift the hips up, inhale. As you exhale, take your chin towards your hands, and then inhale, lift back up. Exhale down, inhale up. Do a few more of these. And then drop to your knees. Open up the hands, take the top of the head down again, walk the knees in and then we're gonna try to maybe lift up onto the toes. So if you're not comfortable, if you have any neck injuries, any neck issues, any shoulder injuries, just stick with the knees down and hold there where you don't have any weight or any pressure at all coming down through the head. If you're ready, roll the shoulders back, push the elbows down, so like we were doing in those press-ups, you're going to lift up out the shoulders a little bit, tuck the toes under and then lift the hips up. As you lift your knees, make sure no weight transfers into your head. So it's all in the arms, and then as you lift the knees, it's still all in the arms. If you feel any weight dumping down into your head, drop the knees and just hold there, and you'll just need to build up a little bit more strength in the arms and the shoulders. Slowly drop down, and then come back to your child's pose. Hands coming back by the feet, folding over, Tucking up into the little ball, make sure your head is rested. Take some deep breaths. And then we're going to do one more progression and then we'll relax. 
So back to that dolphin pose, hold on to opposite elbows, interlace the fingers, open the palms, take the head to the floor. Remember your option is to just stay here if you want to and just get used to that position. Having the head below the heart, working on pushing the elbows down, getting that strength in the shoulders. Engage everything, squeeze the arms, push the floor away from your elbows and hands. And then if you're going to lift your knees up, lift up. And then maybe see if you can walk your feet in a little closer. Maybe you can lift one leg up and then lower back down. Maybe you can lift the other leg and lower back down. And then walk the feet away, drop to the knees, back to child's pose. And we're gonna leave it there for today. Take a deep breath. Roll yourself slowly up, swing your legs in front of you. We're going to come into Shavasana, so you're going to slide your hips forwards, roll all the way down, and then extend your legs out straight. Turn your palms up, drop your head from one side to the other, slowly rocking. Just do that a few times each way. And then drop your head over to the right and let it rest there, let it hold and relax. Feel the shoulders drop down. Feel your arms release, feel your core, feel your legs release. Take your head over to the left, same on that side, let it just drop down. Nice big breaths. And then come back to the centre. Eyes closed over if they aren't already. Take some long deep breaths. Make sure your head, your neck, your shoulders, your arms are completely relaxed. So like I said before, we're just easing in gently with inversions. They can be really beneficial for your body, but they can also do more harm than good if they're not done correctly. So I'd always recommend to practice a headstand or anything like that with the teacher in person that can watch you, that can see your alignment, that can give you real time feedback. But until you're ready for that point, then building up strength, preparing yourself so that then you're ready to move up into that position. one more breath here and then again just rock the head from side to side circle the wrists around stretch your arms up overhead big full body stretch open your eyes hug your knees to your chest have a rock from side to side and then take your hands onto the backs of your thighs rock yourself up Find your seated position, sit yourself tall. Inhale, stretch your arms out and up. Exhale to your chest. Namaste. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found it useful. Tomorrow we're gonna to focus on Shavasana. So that's the relaxation pose at the end where we're just lying down on our mat. So it's gonna be a well-deserved rest. We're gonna do some mindfulness. We're gonna focus on relaxing individual pieces of the body. We're gonna do some different breathing exercises. So it's gonna be a nice chill out one tomorrow. I will see you then. Bye.